Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So this Sunday, we will be talking about oral facial anatomy. So if you are a, um, a Dental L member, so either a member of um, the Board Exam Prep Academy or the Dental L Student Program, you have full access to all of our tutoring live um, sessions, which are usually about twice a month. And I do upload a new teaching video often, like usually twice a week, sometimes even three times a week. Um, I've been uploading new mock exams twice a week. Um, it, it depends on the topics that students want to know more of. So inside the membership login, you have access to all of the topics. You have mock exams, you have lectures, you have all kinds of things. But um, this Sunday specifically, we will be talking about oral um, facial anatomy. So if this is something that you need help with, you should become a member to have a look sooner rather than later. Um, and also, oral facial anatomy is a huge unit. So we will be starting off with the most, with the simplest of the oral facial anatomy, if that makes sense. So in this one, we are talking about the teeth. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys, like all of the, um, all of the things that we are talking about. We talk about the interproximal spaces, we talk about the um, contact points, and the most important, I talk to you guys how to look at and how to know which teeth are which teeth because I remember when I was a student this was the hardest thing. Um, it's still a little bit difficult and I've been a dental hygienist for well I've been in the dental profession for about 13 years and I'd say it took me a good couple years to say, okay, well, that's a premolar. Is that the first premolar? Is that the second premolar? So these things take time. But um, after we do the lecture, I talk about some questions. So I have lots of case studies that we go through. Um, I don't want to give you guys all of the answers, so let's not show you guys that. But we have um, all of um, the questions afterwards. So I go through, there's mostly case studies in this one. There's um, multiple choice type questions as well. So that way after our lecture, I see who's paying attention and you will know if you need to study a little bit more or not. So if you guys would like to have a look at this, let me know. Um, I will post a link at the bottom how to become um, a Dental L member because the sooner you sign up, it just makes the most sense because you have full access to everything all the time. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know and I will see you all very, very soon.